Are you having problems booting into your Windows 10 computer? Are you stuck getting the dreaded blue screen of death? Or are you able to get into Windows, but you know there's something wrong with your computer? Whether it's some kind of Windows configuration issue, a hardware problem, a corrupted device driver, or even possibly a virus or malware infection, in today's video, I'm gonna show you 10 different ways to get into Windows 10 safe mode, both from a cold boot and also from inside a working Windows environment. So you can get into safe mode and resolve your problem. Let's get started. Because not being able to get into Windows at all is usually the worst case scenario, I'm gonna start with those options. There are two ways to access safe mode when you can't boot into Windows at all. And regardless of which method you use, when the Windows safe mode menu eventually comes up, you're gonna to wanna to choose option five for safe mode with networking. If that doesn't work, restart the process and then choose option four, standard safe mode. Safe mode with networking allows you to access the internet so you can possibly download troubleshooting software, antivirus or malware software, or even Windows patches and updates to fix your problem. Method number one. This method is the simplest and doesn't require you having a Windows boot disk nor having to download or install anything. What you're going to do is power off your computer and then after the manufacturer logo appears and the Windows boot up process starts, hold down your power button until the machine shuts off. Turn it back on and repeat the process. This sometimes takes two or three attempts, but Windows will eventually start automatic repair. Let the automatic repair process run. If it works, you'll be back in Windows and everything will be fine again. If it doesn't work, you'll get a prompt on your screen that automatic repair couldn't fix the problem. From here, click on Advanced Options. On the next screen, you're gonna click Troubleshoot. Then go to Advanced Options. On the next screen, click Startup Settings and then restart. Windows will now restart and then give you an options window to choose how you would like to boot into Windows. Again, try option five first. Method two, you wanna use a Windows boot disk, either USB or DVD. Now, if you don't have a Windows DVD or installation disk, you can click the card above to watch my video that shows you how to legally download a Windows installation disk direct from Microsoft and then either burn it to DVD or create a bootable USB flash drive. You'll need a working computer in either a DVD burner or a spare USB flash drive. The flash drive will be formatted in the process, so make sure you don't have anything on the flash drive that you don't already have saved somewhere else. Now, once you have this DVD or flash drive created, you're going to insert the drive into your computer and then boot to it. From the Windows installation screen, you're gonna choose the option to repair the computer, not install Windows. Then on the next screen, click Troubleshoot, then Advanced Options. On the next screen, click Startup Settings and then Restart. Just as in the previous method, when Windows restarts, you'll get your safe mode menu options. Again, choose option five. Those are the two basic methods to access Windows 10 safe mode if you can't already get into Windows 10 at all. You can use a recovery drive for a third option if you have one, but if you haven't already created one, you're gonna need to be in Windows first to do so. So I've included it on the I can get into Windows list instead. So if you can successfully boot to Windows 10, here are nine more ways to get to Windows 10 safe mode. Method number three, hold down shift and restart. This is the simplest and fastest way to restart your computer in safe mode. Simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard, click your start button, select power, then restart. Keep holding the shift button down until your computer actually turns off. When it boots back up, you'll get a Windows diagnostic screen. Click troubleshoot, then go to advanced options, on the next screen, click Startup Settings and then Restart. Windows will restart and then give you an options window to choose how you would like to boot. Again, option five if you can. So method number four is the same as the previous method, but instead you're gonna hit the power and restart options from the Windows 10 sign-on screen instead. Now method number five is to use the Windows recovery option. So in the search box, you're going to hit Reset and then click on Reset This PC. Click on Restart Now under Advanced Startup. That will give you the option to boot into safe mode. Method number six is to use Command Prompt. So from your search bar, you're going to type in the letter CMD, and then when you see Command Prompt, click on it. Once you're at the Command Prompt, you're going to type Shut Down, all one word, space forward slash R, space forward slash the letter O. Once you hit enter, within 60 seconds, your machine will begin the shutdown process and restart at the troubleshooting diagnostic menu. Method number seven, create a Windows shortcut. So what you wanna do is you're gonna right click on an empty area on your desktop, click on new, 
and then shortcut. When this screen comes up, you're going to type C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash shutdown dot exe space forward slash r space forward slash o. Once you've done that, click next. Now give it a friendly name. In this case, I would call it safe mode restart click finish. Once you click on it, it will restart your computer and bring you to the diagnostic menu where you can choose safe mode. Be aware when you click on this, anything you have open that you have not saved, you're going to lose. So make sure you have everything saved first. Method eight is to create a batch file. Now this is a tiny bit more complicated, but it works the same way as the run command and the Windows shortcut. You basically are going to create a batch file that when you click on it, it executes the instructions inside the file. In this case, the shutdown command. So what you wanna do, find an empty spot on your desktop, right click and choose new text document. You can see how it highlights just the file name, but we wanna delete all of that. We're going to call this safe mode restart dot B-A-T for batch file. You may get a prompt if you change the file extension, it might become unusable. Go ahead and say yes. And now instead of double clicking on it to edit like a text file, we have to right click and edit because it is a batch file. So all you wanna do in this line is type C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash shutdown space forward slash R space forward slash O. Click the X to close it, say yes to save. And now if you double click on this icon, it will begin the windows shutdown process within 60 seconds. And again, it will bring you to the diagnostic menu where you can then go into safe mode. Method number nine is to create a USB recovery drive. Now, everyone who uses Windows should create one of these. Just taking a few extra minutes to create one could save you a ton of time and expense from having to call a computer guy or spend hours on YouTube trying to fix your own problem. From the Windows 10 search box, you're going to type recovery and then click on the recovery option here. The first link that comes up is create a recovery drive. You wanna click on that. Now, you will need an empty flash drive to complete this step. After the drive is created, you'll be able to boot to that flash drive and then access the Windows troubleshooting screen as before. So from the recovery drive option here, it says even if your PC can't start, you can use a recovery drive to reset it or troubleshoot Windows. If you back up system files to this drive, you'll also be able to use it to reinstall Windows. Make sure this box here is checked to back up system files. Click next. This is my flash drive, so I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna click next. Again, everything on the drive will be deleted. So as a reminder, if you have anything on that drive you need to save, you need to stop right now and back it up. Click create and turn it loose. And it's gonna start creating your emergency boot disk. The method number 10 is an oldie but goodie. It's officially called system configuration now, but us old school people know it as MS config. So from the search box, you can type in MS config or system configuration and click on it. And when the system configuration box pops up, click on the boot tab. At the bottom left under boot options, click safe boot, then click apply, then okay. If you're prompted to restart the computer, go ahead and do that. That will take you to the Windows 10 diagnostic troubleshooting menu. So those are 10 ways you can easily get to Windows 10 diagnostic menu and then access safe mode to get back into your computer. I do have an honorable mention for you and I'm only mentioning this option because it is a viable option if you choose it. If for some reason you want to reboot your computer into safe mode on a schedule, these options are very simple to use and configure. However, I do think it's a little silly to download and install a program just to do something one time as simple as holding down your shift button. But third party programs like Superfast Shutdown, Shutdown Scheduler, Absolute Shutdown, Win Off, etc. are options and they do work. I hope at least one of these options helped you find the answer that you were looking for. If you got value from this video, please take a second and click on the like button. If you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing to my channel. And if you'd like to watch more Windows troubleshooting videos, click the playlist at the top right of your screen. If you'd like to find out some cool Windows tips, tricks, and other fun stuff, click the playlist on the bottom right. As always, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.